So, Garo's illness. Garo is tortured by his obsession with the Mithras curse. He has been driven insane, a condition worsened by the medication. Or, Garo is melancholic, he is a victim of over-medication, hence the hallucinations and unpredictable behavior. His, tears, his state has been worsened by the shock of self this death. Let's go there. Garo's suffering was too great after Sir Rene Grand Discovery. Garo lived in fear of the Mitra's curse and so developed heightened feelings of paranoia. Okay, so we are heading. Of course, we are heading with Garo and the Silver Knife. Or, no, it's. I don't think it is. We saw there was a lamp. There was a lamp beside the Golden Knife. So there was a recent... Somebody came and took it or put it back, whatever it was. But you need two people. You need two people to get it. Uh-huh. That's the problem with the golden knife. You need two people to get it. So we'd have to be... So if it's not him, it would have to be the other archaeologist and the boss... Oh, that makes sense. That actually makes sense. If it was the other archaeologist, but the archaeologist and the boss, the manager of the tomb, the owner of the tomb, because it's in his interest to basically keep the the knife there or uh, to discover the knife. Because the other guy, the first archaeologist, would have wanted to take it for himself, apparently. The method of murder is too convoluted with someone with such illness. Yeah, I agree too. It's too complicated for him. Okay, let's see what they say. Kill Serenade in a fit of obsession due to his integral nervous state. The only way to ease his suffering was to perform a ritual killing. He used the silver reproduction of golden knife. Well, I mean, it would fit as well. If he's really like obsessed, like he wouldn't use the golden knife. He would use another knife to not get cursed. You know what I mean? But no, 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 no. That doesn't fit to me. No. Let's go for this. Uh, let's go for Garo Melancholic. So now we go to the secondary one. Which is... Even if Pekin is the owner of the bath, he will surely lose them. For this major discovery will change everything. It will turn the bath into a permanent excavation site to preserve the research. It will never achieve the commercial status that Pekin desire. That makes sense. But we have Pekin with a silver knife now. He kills Serone to conceal the discovery, the only way to save the Roman bath from the um, upcoming excavation. He intended to start his own business, he used the silver reproduction of a golden knife. But why? Why use that weapon? Pitkin was humiliated by Serone. That doesn't explain the, the lamp beside the golden knife there. If we go there, because we have the ice bucket as well that was found, where well, there was the champagne at the scene of the murder, and there was the ice bucket in the in the tunnel. Pitkin with the ice knife. Okay, so same motive but different weapon. No, that doesn't make sense as well because the the champagne was brought by by the by the victim. How would he have known to hide the knife there? I 
and there's no equation when the when it's the other archaeologist. No scenario when it's the other archaeologist. Why? Interesting. There's no more clues right here. He saw the salt and ice maker in the tunnels. And as the furthest the archaeologist went. Try Bleakhorn's interest. What? What do you mean Bleakhorn? Oh yeah, this one. Okay, so that's the one. Well, that's one. He killed Sarone to avenge an abuse of power. The death would be to his financial benefit. It would allow him to emerge as the luminary in his field. He used the silver protection of Golden Knife. Yeah. Why is there nowhere with the Golden Knife? Do I need to go further in the investigation for the golden knife theory? Change to ice knife? Yeah, I mean it's... Yeah, it's the same as the other one, it's just... It changes the, wep the weapon to ice knife. I mean, the silver knife doesn't make any sense to me. Why make a big silver knife? I mean, it would explain the silver thing. The melted silver, you know? The ice maker was there, yes. The champagne was there to keep the ice knife. But then who, who used the ice knife then? It's still a bit iffy, yes. I mean... Who would have known about the discovery? Because the... The, the victim there was... Uh, he had champagne brought there we know that so he was celebrating so he found the golden knife okay Bancliff found the golden knife so he was celebrating it would have it would have been worse for the manager for the owner than for him like what difference would I, would he have make for the other archaeologists okay he's not the one that find the knife but then, why the knife brought back there? Why he didn't keep the knife? To make sure that it's his discovery, you know? Yeah, the, the, the lamp, but the lamp was the victim. Like, the, the, the victim found the golden knife. That's why he brought the champagne to the bath to celebrate. Because he found, some, he found it. You know? I mean... That's what makes sense to me. That is the manager to actually keep making money with the site and not close it down, you know? To keep the research go and never find anything. But then he would have had to kill the other archaeologist if he found something. You know what I mean? So that's like, yeah. Ugh. And killing somebody in your own company. Okay, okay. Let me just check something quickly. 
Let's go there. Uh, no, no. So, uh, the interest that I represent requires the situation at the bus to be changed for the better. At the present time, the freedom excavation remains under direct your direction, and yet the works have not progressed. You have failed uh, to find anything of value and we are unable to make the frigidarium accessible to the public. The frigidarium is a valuable asset in the recreation of the Roman bus experience. I urge you to complete your work within the next two months. You see? Why would he do that? That was before the other archaeologists came in, right? So he was under pressure. He was under pressure. He was responsible for the site where we found the ice bucket. And this site was just conveniently blocked when Holmes came to the site. Yeah, it's him. It's him with the ice knife. It's him with the ice knife. It's the other archaeologist with the ice knife. That's it. That's what it is. That's the one. Yeah, as I said, the golden knife was found by the other archaeologist. It's him. Now, what do we do? Blinkhorn knew of Bankcliffe's intentions to take all the credit for the discovery of the golden knife. He devised a cunning plan to eliminate Bankcliffe and for this he deserved the rope. Or he devoted his life to discovering the golden knife and the credit was about to be stolen. If he had been given the opportunity to claim ownership of his discovery, he would not have killed Bankcliffe. Yeah. I don't want to absolve him. You kill the man for a knife. You get the rope. All right, let's go. Yes. I'm feeling rather uncomfortable. Why have I been put into these cuffs? I fear that you had better get used to them, Mr. Blinkhorn. They are your reward for the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. What? No, that's a lie. It is regrettable. For you are a talented archaeologist. I will request that you are placed in a prison where you are unable to dig an escape tunnel. That is, of course, if they decide that you shall live. You... The consulting are... detective who salutes your intelligence in performing the perfect crime. Yes, but also the gentleman who detests your motivation. You know nothing. You wish to be the one who would reveal this to the world. Is that... The golden knife. How... I also like to dig, you see. I only followed your trail. Such a pity that there is always someone willing to steal your credit, wouldn't you say? And there was the chance of a lifetime. You had to take it. It was not to be shared. It... Oh. But now I am here, and there is no one who will stop the tread of justice, Mr. Blinkhorn. Goodbye. I was right. He's not saying anything. That was right. Blink on your bank cliff intention and take all the credit for discovery. He devised a cunning plan. He used a handman ice maker to create a nice made reproduction of the golden knife in Mitras, carried to the steam room ice bucket with champagne. Uh, I'm not gonna check my conclusion yet. Accept decision. Let's go. So let's see. Statistics. Are they better than before? Yeah. Okay. So this time, well, I mean, it means that I made the same conclusion as most of the people. It doesn't mean that is the right one. But uh, I'll check that at the end when I finish all the cases. I'll go back and I'll check. But that's the first result that is like, like the other ones, like uh, other people, you know? So I don't feel so much as an outcast anymore. That makes more sense then. 
Cool. Personality ranking impartial. Nice. The foot, not a word. Into your clothes and come. I'll wait for you in the sitting room. I've just received a note from Inspector Lestrade, a letter from the suburbs. He is in need of my presence. Whenever he has asked for my assistance, it has always turned out to be entirely justified. I fancy that every one of his cases has found its way into your collection. Uh, yes, they all seem worthy of... However, I regret your fatal habit of looking at everything from the point of view of a story instead of a scientific exercise. Oh, Holmes, you... I beg your pardon, I digress. It would be much better to examine this letter than to try to convince you. So, that's it for case number three. Uh, it was really cool, I enjoyed every second of this uh, and that makes me want to play Tomb Raider even more so I will probably do that after Sherlock Holmes you can almost be sure of that uh, thanks for watching for the people on stream and thanks for watching for the people on YouTube and uh, again be good, take care, be safe and uh, we'll see you for case number 4